Like boxing has gotten like so soft. Boxing is like they run away from each other. They don't want to face any competition, right? Boxers legitimately have it as like they try to make their life as easy as possible without facing any hard opponents. In five, four. Welcome back to the Red Crew. We're here with another fight preview. Uh, you know E.T. Say something. The one and only. We got Isaiah. What's up, what's up, what's up? Behind the camera producing, we got Luis. What's good? Not producing much. Was about to get fired. He's on a thin eyes. Thin <laughs> eyes, guys. Might not hear him anymore. We already kicked him off camera because he's so fucking boring. <laughs> you been working on that? On the boring stuff? Yeah. I try every once in a while, but... What, what, what are you doing? Like, what's your therapy? My therapy? I don't really have therapy. I just come here and I try. If I succeed, great. If I don't, then I don't. Mm. Exactly. Oh. You see my point, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Underachiever. <laughs> telling you. I feel bad for your girl. <laughs> she thinks I'm hilarious for some reason, and I'm okay with that. Is she laughing with you or at you? No, no I would, I'll ask the same question, but no, she's laughing What'd with she me. What'd she say? No, no, she's laughing with me. Okay. No, I didn't ask her. I asked myself the same question. You must be the one paying the bills, huh? No, I'm not. <laughs> 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 All right. Um, right here, as you can see on the title, we're here to preview the incredible, incredible fight, which is sad for boxing. This is a true statement. It's sad. This is probably the most ex exciting boxing match we're going to see all year. Am I wrong? They don't fight each other. Well, you know, Kelly Plant versus Benavides. That's a good fight for, like, I would say boxing fans. I mean, uh, maybe to the general public. Is that official? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's official. Okay. That's like, they've already fight. had a press that's conference. Good, that's a good fight. But still, Caleb Plant, did it, is his face back together? I don't know, but. Yeah, he's, he's, you know, he exactly. Like, a little bit like this, but he got it. So, somebody whose face literally got broken in half has to come back and fight somebody like Benavides. But, like, I would pay anything to watch uh, Crawford and Spence. Never going to yeah, happen. Never, is never, I would pay anything to watch, uh, you know, uh, still, even though they keep losing, uh, <laughs> Wilder and Joshua, never going to happen. Yeah. Uh, I would pay to see Joshua and uh, Fury, Fury, never going to happen. I would pay to watch Usyk and Fury, never going to happen. Like, these fights just never happen. Gervonta Davis and... and Gervonta Davis and... and uh, 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 Garcia. Gar Garcia. Never going to happen. Or even mm. oh, Ryan, right? Yeah. Ryan Garcia. Yeah, Javante Davis yeah. stay out of fucking jail, yeah? Yeah. Those fights are never going to happen. So yeah. The most exciting fight we're going to see this year, unfortunately, is Jake Paul versus Tommy Fury. <laughs> so, we got we got to embrace it, right? We're we're Right. We're we're fight fans, so we got to embrace it. Uh back she Why never? No, Ngannou could be in boxing now, so. Ngannou, I bet you that doesn't happen. Guarantee it doesn't happen. Who the fuck are you gonna fight? And got, suppose he wants to fight uh, Fury. Yeah. It's not gonna happen, like, cause he's gonna ask for three hundred million dollars. And nobody wants to play his big ass, pay his big ass, fucking that much money, bro. You think? But yeah. those are the only fights that actually draw crowds now. The cross promotional fights, so because the actual fights don't sports. happen. Yeah. I guarantee you, Spence and Crawford will break any record. They just don't. They can't. They can't get it together. <laughs> uh, but. As much as we can analyze these two, what do you think is going to happen? First of all, are you one of these conspiracy oh. theories that think that everything's set up? I think, like, the Jake Paul fights are set up. So you, you think, think all like, of them are set up or just... just no, but... Uh, no, I think, like, it's, like, you know... Set like up you, in, like, in you, the Mayweather sense? It's like WrestleMania. Oh, you think it's fake? Oh, so I think you think there's, like, predetermined... I think it's predetermined who's going to win. Oh, okay. Mm. But that, that? Th I do not illegal. think that. I don't, Why? Because that, there's people betting on that. <laughs> okay, but first of all... Yes, we all know it's illegal. But, like, you think everything that happens in pro sports is legal? No, but if they, if, they, if they find out about one single thing that might give them an iota of foul play, as, as it ruins everything for for. But there's Jake no way Paul to prove it. Unless yeah. you sign a contract that said you have to lose. Well, that would be the only, the, the only way to make it full proof. Uh, the let, guy... let, me, let me not talk shit about my boy Jake Popper. Let me take it back. Let me take it back. Um, because cause they said that if he wins this fight, he's gonna get a ranking. Oh, really? Yeah, he's yeah, get a like in cruiserweight. Is Fury ranked? Oh, like, I, I don't, oh, I'm sure. What, well, how professional boxing. what do the rankings go up to? I don't know, to be honest. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like, 
if, if is it like the UFC that you only do the top fifteen? No, it doesn't matter. The, the, but the, the fact that he's gonna get a rank and I guess it puts him up there with a as a professional boxer. I guess so, but if you're ranked ten thousand and seventy nine, that's ten thousand seventy eight better than you. Barely. <laughs> Still better Barely. than you, bro. Barely. I'm Barely. Saying. Look, bro, just put some respect on my boy Jake Paul's name, bro. You're All the right. one. You're the one that was. Saying you're the one earlier. that said that everything's at WrestleMania. Still wins though. Still <laughs> winning side. I'm on the winning team, bro. Look, I don't think it's like WrestleMania, but I think that he has somebody in his corner that he's like, you could beat this guy. Go fight him. And then you yeah, yeah. I think I think I think it's like carefully, carefully, carefully chosen. Like, um, spe- they, they go in and, and choose specific opponents. They feed him opponents. How about that? I think that's the best way to, to put it. They feed him opponents. You agree with that? I mean, yeah, you could say that, but you could say the same thing with Mayweather that he was like, he kind of no, chose his no, fights. No, 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 but the no. difference of feeding. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it's still feeding though, in a no, way. No, because Mayweather fought a lot of good ass fighters. Yeah, some really as their prime, good. some in their prime. And he won. But I'm saying like you could say that for other boxers. Oh, I'll use for Mayweather. the ones now. That's for Mayweather. For Mayweather too, but not to the level of this, like. Because when you fight Manny Pacquiao and you fight you fight Arturo Gatti and you fight Marcos Maidana and you fight Zab Oscar Dula, De Oya, you fight Oscar De La Hoya, you fight Ricky Hatton, like he, you yeah. fought legit guys, right? Mm-hmm. So, And yeah, there were some that, like who did he fight past his prime? I think Pacquiao was right there, no? Pacquiao was at the end of it, but yeah. I guess so was he, right? They were like even. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, Canelo, he fought before his prime. Yeah, that's the problem, Canelo. Yeah, but, but like it was two different eras, yeah. bro. Yeah, he really? fought before his prime, and then uh, I don't know if you remember that. Uh, what's his name? The Ghost. What was his name? That Mexican guy. I don't know, but he fought some guy that. Yeah, I can't remember his name. But, but yeah, when he fired Tour Gotti, when he fights Zeb Judah Corrales, he, those Robert guys. Guerrero, huh? Robert Guerrero. Robert Guerrero. There we go. Yeah, Robert Guerrero. That was probably a feeding. And can you go through from Robert Guerrero on? Can you go? Or Mayweather? Yeah. No, I guess not. You know how Joe Rogan has Jamie and he's like amazing. <laughs> Jamie. Yeah. yeah. We got this piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> Would you rather have this or nothing? <laughs> yeah. Nothing. Yeah. Okay. You no, don't get I was anything. gonna compliment you. No, that, that didn't sound like it was the beginning of a. Compliment. I was heading there. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Mm. Yeah. It was like this is our Jamie. Like the wish. I version. guess what I'll show. Tra- <laughs> I <wish> guess version. <laughs> 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 I guess what I mean in a way is like, and it probably doesn't relate, but like, I feel like boxers know what's next for them. They know like how many times they're going to fight in a year, kind of who's next, who they're going to fight in a year. Like you ask an MMA fighter like, oh, what's next for you? They probably just they like, no idea. they have no idea. And that's what yeah. sucks about boxing. That's why boxing's dying, honestly. I'm going on yeah. a boycott after this fight. <laughs> Up into the next good one. Up into the Benavides. Caleb they're fighting plant. soon. They're fighting soon. So yeah. I'll watch that one, this one, and that's it. No more boxing for me. Yeah. It's because boxing has gotten so bitchy, bro. It's like real life. <laughs> it's gotten so soft with all these fucking feminists. I think I think boxing is, is like owned by a feminist, bro. Hey, yo, Don't like give Chesco fucking, that much credit. Like Do not give Chesco that much credit. Like a fucking feminist can queer. Have, can we have a conversation with you? Yeah. I feel like they're triggering you. Who's they? Feminists. Yo? Us, yes. Oh. <laughs> you can't let people have that much power over you. Oh, they don't, bro. I live my life just just fine, bro. Don't but when I see something no, wrong, I'm going to point it out. No, but you do get a little triggered. Yeah. You when mean, I see something wrong, I'm going to point see, it out. See, look, he's getting triggered right yeah. now. But no, it's like I get triggered when we talk about how fucking boring you are, bro. We were talking <laughs> about boxing and you brought up feminine. Nobody else brought it up with yeah, you. Yeah. Well, no shit. I'm bringing it up because I'm making a, a legit comparison, bro. Like, boxing has gotten, like, so soft. Boxing is like they run away from each other. They don't want to face any competition, right? Boxers legitimately have it as like they try to make their life as easy as possible without facing any hard opponents. That's what I mean. That, that was. But my, what does that have to do with feminists? Nothing. This is the same way, right, bro? Like fucking, like all these soft ass bitches, bro. Or they, they they want, for example, I'll give you like a perfect example. They want equal pay without having to pay their dues, bro. They want they want everything. <laughs> you lost <laughs> what? You lost me. You lost What's me, up, bro. Just stay with me. It's not that hard to understand. Like, bro, like. What I'm, what the the comparison that I'm making, for example, is how hard is it for the level of competition, or how 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 long did it take for for US, for example, men's soccer or US basketball 
to get as competitive as it is now and for them to get paid as much are as they Are we going get back to now. the women's sports? Yeah, but I think that, well, that's, 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 but that's two completely one. different conversations. Okay, the, how well, do you, fuck, okay, it, it was compare that example, to boxing? So. Compare that to boxing. Like, what, How does that relate to boxing? How I just fucking said it. How boxing, bro, how boxers nowadays, okay. they try to avoid any difficult fight. What are they? What, what, yeah, what are does the, that have to what do with the, the women's soccer team level? avoiding? The women's soccer team, for example, the correlation that I'm trying to make yeah. is they're trying to get where the men's soccer team is, right? They're trying to get paid without putting the time. You know how long it took the men's soccer team to be where they're at and for them to get paid? I get you. I actually agree point. with you. I actually agree with you, but I think you, well, chose, no shit. you chose the wrong place to choose the comparison. Why? Because the women have won more than the men. Not that I agree with you. That shouldn't mean they get paid more. I'm with you. But you're using the wrong time to bring that comparison no i'm not because that's what they use tell me i'm wrong that's what they will use we have paid our dues and our, our question would be how and their answer would be because we won three world cups yeah, yeah. but it doesn't matter like what i'm saying bro the u.s men's soccer team was not making exact what they were making now i got 50 it years you ago. don't have to argue with me i got you what i'm saying so what's, that's what's, the st- that would be the argument Do you the fact that they're there for like they've been doing it for like 10 years no no no. to 50 no that they've won more but i think just so because what? there's a there's a correlation doesn't mean that they have to do with exactly. anything to That's do with each other. That's why I said he's wrong. He's no think, shit, you idiot. I, was, I, 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 I just, I just, I just wrong, gave an example. He's dumb. He's stupid. No, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. That's just two fucking pussies to say anything. <laughs> what? I just told you I agree with you. What else you want? Kiss my feet, bro. You, you give me a standing ovation, bro. I'm just not going to get triggered. Oh, I don't give a fuck. I'll get triggered, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stand y'all bitches, bro. Yeah. All right. Can we get back to the Jake Paul? Who wins? Jake. Man, I think Jake. If he's fighting Jake Paul, it's for a reason. If he's fighting Tommy Fury. If Tommy Fury is fighting Jake Paul, that's what he's saying. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> he said if he's fighting Jake. Yeah, if Tommy Fury's fighting Jake, it's for a reason. Also, you think Tommy's going to win? Oh, my God. So what's the reason Tommy's fighting Jake for? So he can First. lose against Jake, bro. Oh, we're back to the WrestleMania thing. <laughs> yeah, like, like, bro. The but, reason, but, like, but put respect on his name, yeah, right? Like, like the you reason you gotta like, point that out. You the, can't just say, "Hey, somebody's <laughs> gonna go take a dive and expect." I never to- say he was gonna take a dive, but he, they, they, they carefully chose Tommy Fury for Jake Paul, okay, bro. But they, you, they are very sure that that that, that Jake's gonna win that fight. Okay, uh, and I agree with you. Now, tell me if you disagree with me. You think Anthony Joshua picked Usyk? Because he thought he was going to lose. No, he thought he was going to win, right? Mm-hmm. Right. And then Usyk went and beat him twice. Again, now to bring that comparison here. Yeah, Jake Paul might have chosen Tommy Fury because he thinks he thinks he could beat him. Tommy Fury can still go in there with the intention to win, right? Or or you think that, no, this is WrestleMania. Yeah. No, 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 no. He could go in with the intention. It's just an intention. It doesn't mean shit. But it's, when it comes skill to skill, it's we like, honestly like, don't know. They're about the same size, right? Can you check the sizes? Like, I think I'm pretty sure the same height. They're the same height. Uh, they look. They're, they seem about the same size. Maybe, uh, maybe Jake looks a little bigger, but not significantly. Mm-hmm. Skill for skill, one has four. Pro fight. I think Jake has like five or six. I don't know how many uh, Tommy has. Tommy has like yeah five against pro fighters, but I don't know what that means nowadays. Okay. And height is. Two Jake Paul is six one. Tom Fury is six zero. Um, pre-fight record is six zero to four Jake Paul and Tommy Fury is eight zero. What else do you want? Eight to know. Yeah, they're about the same. Like, yeah. So it's all about eye test. And since we're boxing experts, right? Right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what do you see when you watch them? No. I've seen. seen um, <laughs> <laughs> like the, not a damn thing, bro. I've seen... um, They're both trash, bro. Yeah, you could say that. Uh, I've seen Tommy's highlights. I really haven't watched any of his fights. Just, like, the highlights. I'd say, like, he puts combinations better. I don't even think his mom has watched any of his fights. (laughs) But I I would say I think Jake has more power. Have you ever seen Tommy Fury fight? I've seen the highlights. Like, the same thing. <laughs> yeah. I went in and I tried to actually like study that's the, it. That's the much research that we did. No, but th- that's why I think that Jake Paul has more power because normally the highlights would have the best for, like parts of you. It didn't have a lot there of power. Most <laughs> yeah, highlights. like I'm like so if if everybody mm-hmm. should look amazing in in your highlights, right? right? right. He didn't look amazing. <laughs> oh shit! So I was like, that's why I agree with you. I think Jake Paul wins just because of the power. I think he knocked him out. Mm, I don't know. I would say uh, Tommy has the advantage on stamina. So he has more stamina than. How long is it? Eight rounds, right? 
I would assume, probably. yeah. That's my thing. How are you going to be ranked and you win an eight round fight? You win it. Yeah, but there's, again, 10,037 people who've won 12 rounds. Like, you still winning, bro? Anyway. He undefeated. Uh, look, Jake Paul is our boy, right? He's my boy. Jake Paul's favorite to win. I don't know about y'all. Oh, really? What yeah. are the odds? The odds are negative 180 to uh, 150 for Tommy Fury. Is that a lot? You're the degenerate gambler. Is that a lot? No, it's not a lot. No? No, you basically get 80 it's bucks for every 100. Yeah. 80 bucks for every 100? Mm-hmm. Okay, not bad. All right, so we you choose. I think I'm gonna go with Jake Paul. Uh, I'm gonna go with Jake Paul. My boy Jake Paul. And Jake Paul eventually gonna fight Ray. Eventually. <laughs> <laughs> like we're gonna catch him at the end of his uh, at the of end his of his career. prime. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna catch him at the end of his prime, and we are gonna win that fight. But uh, thank you for watching. Please like. Please subscribe. No, what about John Jones? That's next. Please tune into a video in about a week from now. And yep. <laughs> you're gonna watch you're gonna see us preview the John Jones fight. Uh thank you. Wanna say anything? Thank you. Peace. Peace. <laughs> Tune in. Bye. See you next time. Peace. <laughs>